Hello, my loving Tiffany Thanks family. How are you all? I am, well, it's Tuesday today, and um, I haven't left my room. I haven't left the house. I have, I, I think since getting the results, I've just been a bit, like, um, I'm just not myself. And this morning I said to Matt, like, oh, I don't feel like myself at all. And he's like, yeah, I know. Like, I really know that, um, you've just been a little bit like a bit blank I've just been a bit blank I think I keep reliving the appointment I was with the surgeon and the CNS and the other doctor I was with them for a very long time so I'm trying I'm like obviously I, I understand what's going to happen and do you know what I think I can't get my head around right removing the rectum the anus the colon I'm like, okay, fine, that's fine. Like, like removing those three big places in the body, fine, I can accept that, right? But then you've got like the womb, the vagina, again, I can accept that because I've always known, like I can't, I've, my periods have stopped. I've always known I can't have children, like I can't carry my own child. So I can accept all of that. And then there's the issue with the bladder, right? So, it's like you wake up and like the thing is with the bladder is that he won't be able to tell me if he will remove it or if it will still be there until he actually does the surgery so I can live with like having bags on my body like I can live with all that I can't I know because I know that main the main okay I don't oh. The main thing out of all of this is to live. Like I need to live. I realize how important it is for me to live because if I'm not here, it's gonna affect my, my sister, my mum, my nephew, my niece, my brother-in-law, my family, my friends, you guys. Like, so the main focus is to live. And in order for me to live is I have to remove all of this in my body. You know, like I've been in bed and I haven't said this out loud. I think I've been bottling it up, bottling it up because it's who I am. I just bottle things up and now it's getting to a point where like I just need to accept it. And I need to understand that yes, life is going to be different, but I get to live a life, right? I think my fear is going through all of that surgery, like removing all these big organs out of my body and then for the surgeon or the doctor to say, I'm sorry, we couldn't remove it all and like there's still cancer in your body or there's still a tumour in your body. I think that's my biggest fear. I can't do this in the sense that I can't stay in this room and I can't um, think about it, but I, it's like I can't, like you know, you know me, normally I can block things out. Like, I always say this on YouTube, like, I'm very good at blocking things out. Because I know, like, I always say I need to live, I need to do this, I need to do that. And this time I'm really struggling to block this out because I feel like it's all real, like, it's all real again. You know, in August when he said, you're not having the surgery, um, I had a bit of hope. I think that's what it is, it was just a bit of hope, like, and I was going to say that was my miracle, but... It is still a miracle that he's going to do this operation and I'm not the only person in this world that has had this operation. I get that, like, I understand that, but it doesn't make it easier, you know, it doesn't mean, you know, like I'm still having, it's like, oh, I need to focus on the surgery. I need to have the surgery and then after I have the surgery, like I miss Christmas and everything, which is fine, like I'll get loads of Christmases after, that's fine. Um, And then after surgery, I go into intensive care unit for a few days and I'm only allowed one person in then. And then I, I'm thinking if I'm in intensive care unit, the one person I'm allowed in will have to be my mum. And then after that, after intensive care unit, then they'll move me to like a ward. And then when I get to a ward, um, 
then I have to have like rehab and like I need help sitting up, I need help walking, like everything is going to be crazy. But I just think like I've been thrown so much, right? I've been given so many challenges and I feel like this is another challenge I'll have to do. I have to overcome and I can't do it, I can't. I get it now when people say um, cancer, it's not a sprint, it's a journey and it's a slow journey. I honestly want to say thank you to all of you um, that have left me the sweetest message to read, whether it's a comment, a DM, a Facebook message, like, it's like so, I'm so lucky to have each one of you because you give me like this encouragement and strength and it's like I have to do this, like I have to because it's not just about my real life people, it's about you guys too, like I have to be able to do this and I just hope that no one has to go through this but if I can get through it, I'm just hoping that it will give you strength as well. My darling and Amma, both of them said to me, Tiffany, don't film a video today because you're not yourself, like you're just not yourself and I said to both of them like, doing these videos is initially it was something for me and it was more like oh i need to do this and of course it still helps me till this day like even sitting here telling you how what what what's going on in my mind already i feel better but i also know so many of you are praying and so many of you are waiting for little updates which honestly thank you thank you for caring about me so much even though you've never met me but you care about me like i'm your family um so that's why i just wanted to put out this video um i know it's not my usual vlog and i know it's just it's not even a tea with tiffany thinks is it <laughs> I haven't filmed one of those in a while i'm i'm thinking i'm taking a break from the tea with tiffany thinks podcast videos um i think i'll take a break from those till i get back to normal this is what it's been like the past since friday today's th uh, tuesday this is what it's been like this is i think this is why i haven't talked i don't want to talk because anytime i talk i just want to cry <sighs> the next step now is having the examination under anaesthetic the surgeon needs to do that because as you as i said before well if you watched my last video the tumor has grown right so it's in that area but it's also in like the top of the colon area there's an area of thickening there which they saw in the scans and so the surgery will be different um so what he said is when he goes in, um, if there's cancer cells, he's not going to take a biopsy. But if he visibly can't see cancer cells, he's going to take biopsies. So, do you know what, right? Do you know what, I have to kind of snap out of this. I'm allowed, you know what, I am allowed to cry because I'm allowed to be sad, I'm allowed to be angry because all of this isn't easy and I, I'm not, I'm only human, right? I have to get angry, I have to cry, I have to be angry, like I am so angry. I don't know why I'm angry. Why am I angry? I have no reason to be angry, I'm allowed to be sad but um, I have to process this, like it's going to take me, like I don't have a lot of time but like, do I put, I know it sounds silly, do I still put a Christmas tree in the house? Like, I was meant to do it on Saturday. Like, do you remember I said on Friday, like, I'm going to have the scan results and then whatever the results, I'm going to put the trees up, I'm going to decorate the house. But on Saturday, I just, I didn't want to leave my bed and even Matt was like, should we put the tree up? And I said, no, we'll do it next week, we'll do it next week. So I'm thinking, I should put the tree up because that makes me happy and... Yeah, I might not be home for Christmas, but I still have a few weeks here, right? Do I put the tree up? And it'll be nice for me to at least 
decorate the house because Amma and Matt will be here so and if my sister comes and I'm not here at least the house will be nice for Aston and Ella and I'm sure Amma will have visitors as well when I'm in hospital so yeah let's decorate the house I've kind of made up my mind that's going to make me happy anyways putting up the tree I, I kind of done the Christmas shopping as well um, maybe not for everyone, but I guess I can wrap presents and give everyone presents before I go into the hospital. I guess I should keep busy, right? I always say when I keep busy, it's a lot better for me to keep busy. I need to keep busy and I need to bake and I just need to do things that I want to do because I'm not going to be able to do the things that I love and for a while, you know? I'm going to be like in hospital for a long time so I'd better do all the things rather than like moping about at home or staying in bed and I know I, I know I'm saying this out loud but I know all I want to do is get back into bed like that's all I want to do I know I know everything's going to be okay like this time next year your girl is going to be fine you know this time next year everything's going to be okay I need to remember that. I need to remember that the cancer journey is going to come to an end soon, hopefully. And then I'm going to do my cancer-free boomerang, aren't I? Like, I can't wait to do that. I'm still going to do that. I don't know when that's going to be, but I'll do the. I'm cancer-free. I'm cancer-free. I will do it. I will. I know I will. It's just I need to get through this as well. Like, I would, I would have never thought I could get through chemo, and I did. I would have never thought I would have got through radiotherapy, and I did, and I never missed any session of it. And, and I never thought I would have got through C. diff. That pain was unbearable. I did it. Then I had chemo again. I did it. Um, then I had the biopsy, and then, like, I've, I've, I've handled it, and I've gone through it. And it's just another bit I need to go through, you know? We got this, don't we? We do, we do, we do. I'm going to go downstairs and get some food in me. I'm going to eat like two eggs, baked beans, bread. Like I need to, I told you like in my last video, I need to put on weight. So I just need to eat a lot and I don't, um, I feel like I'm just forcing myself to eat, which is fine. But I just think my body is just made to be small. I don't know why, like I'm eating and eating and eating and um, I need to take those milkshakes as well. It's just, I don't know why, it's just, I just can't put on weight. I've always been very slim. I'm gonna go, I just wanna say thank you. I don't wanna cry again. I just wanna say thank you to all of you that have been so nice. Um, honestly, thank you because you're giving me strength and you're giving me encouraging like words and your, all your prayers and energy and positive energy is helping so thank you thank you thank you i love you all so much please look after yourself and your loved ones as well always check in on your loved ones because you don't know what anyone is going through so always check in if you know someone's just being very quiet just send them a message and say i'm thinking of you i love you i if you need anything i'm here for you honestly we need to look after each other because life is tough and we can't do this without like support from other people, honestly. That's why it's so important you need to support your loved ones and just everyone, okay? I love you all a lot, a lot, a lot. Thank you for being here for me. Thank you for everything.